Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Noramic. Welcome back to more of Minecraft Hardcore. Last time we spent the entire episode attempting to get this um, very picky individual into his, um, we'll, we'll call it cell for all eternity now. And um, yeah, so um, this time we're going to go give him a job because I need to stop building up emeralds and I also need a lectern for our next village that we bring in. Uh, to kind of place and replace until one of them wants to sell me mending books. So that's going to be it. I think we may spend the episode going to get fetched out of the one. I don't know. We may take it easy. We shall see. But yes, hopefully you're all doing well. As per usual, I am doing fine and dandy. And uh, yeah, hopefully and this episode goes quite well. See, the only thing that's particular... Okay, I need a fence gate. That's what was bothering me. There's something back in my mind that was uh, telling me I needed to go do it. But yes, if we set ourselves up a fence gate, which I think is this. It is. Okay. Should be able to come in and out. And I'll make two just so it's more balanced. Because otherwise that will bother me for all eternity. Voila. So yeah, go break you and you, and I really need a new set of uh, tools, huh? Okay, either way, bop, three down, and eh, you thought, you thought, you thought wrong. Bop, bop, there we go. Okay, throw you in wood, and we are golden. Easy peasy. So we pop in here, we throw this down, he should now become a farmer. Alright, you're like, yeah, you feel a compulsion, you run straight over, and you're now a farmer, and you will buy carrots and beetroot off me. I... Why, why those things? No, so if we break this, by the way, uh, we can constantly influence what he sells us. So he's it again now, but he buys uh, potatoes, which, again, looking at our fine selection of a farm, potatoes are the most like prevalent thing, so I'm chill with that. That said, we kind of need to set up a thing in there so that they uh, they don't die. Um, I will do that. Just in, first things first, I would like to make myself an axe because, again, I don't have a set of... I'm not sure how it happened. I seemingly don't have any tools, so I'll make a... Make a pickaxe and an axe. Okay, well, I know what happens with a pickaxe. Again, that that guy in there ended up killing it. Cause, um, well, that was the terrain. That's like the one thing last episode which wasn't, you know, directly that guy's fault. But, you know, you know, you know we don't forgive. We don't forget either way. Um, that said, though, do we have any dirt in here? Which is easy. Okay, got two dirt. We got... Okay, never mind. We got 64. I'm... Maybe I'm just aging. Maybe I'm just aging. Um, but no. And what I want to do for in here is just... I want to very, like... Very quickly, not like anything major. I just want to make these guys an area to actually farm and get food from because otherwise they get picky because they don't have food and it gives this guy to do something. Generally, it's just a good idea to have these guys actually have stuff to farm when there's a farmer because it just means that I don't need to keep feeding them manually. They, they become self-sufficient almost. So, um, you know, we'll plant these, throw some water in the middle, and he should hopefully become farmer of the year. We might plant, like, we might throw him some seeds. I, I'm not sure if we have a hoe to actually. Um, till this with. But, yeah, no, if we go get some water, he should be all up on those, um... I'm surprised he hasn't tried to make an escape yet, by the way. It's like, you know, I was anticipating it, but it doesn't seem to be the case. But yeah. So, you don't care at the minute. So, if I if I throw you some seeds, though, that'll change, right? Seeds and I'll throw you, like, a few potatoes just for fun. Well, I get a bit of variety, you know? So, here you are. Here is that. Here is that. That's not... Those, both didn't go in as anticipated. Here you go. Have these. Have these. Got a pot of land with some dirt and some water. You should be interested. Keyword is should, but you know. It's like, no, just stop moving. Stop moving. Okay. And here you are. If you have the, if you pick these up, you're then able to start farming, right? Like, there's a whole area right here just waiting for you. I'm just saying, you know, it's like, okay, please. Please. I want, I want to wait. I want to waste this corner and widen up some obstacles spawn. Are you, do you care? Do you not care? What is it? You just want to follow me around and sell me things, but kind of, kind of got a whole farm there which you uh, could be using. No? Okay. Well, so be it. I'll, I'll see if I've got a till. Again, I can't believe I'm actually like catering for this guy, but um, building materials, food. Oh, okay. The last little bit of this stone hoe, I will dedicate to setting your farm off. Yep. Okay. Exactly five things. Are you interested now? No. I, I, I've never seen a villager actually be this picky before. All right, well, here are some potatoes. Oh, are you interested now? Please tell me you're interested now. No? All right, well, here are some potatoes. Just please show interest. Unless I'm doing something wrong. Although I don't think I am. What are you, what are you cooking? Oh, you're holding an emerald. Um, could be holding a tilling thing and, you know, till the dirt. Please? Can you please? Like, I'll even make an extra thing just to make sure I'm not, like, going mental here. But, like, why is he being so, like, mean about it? What's... Why? Why? Hey, well, 
Either way, I will till the whole farm for you, and we'll keep an eye on this for the remainder of the episode. Because then... Well, okay. Yeah. Well, A, this gives him stuff to work with and harvest, and then by the time we drag the next villager in here kicking and screaming, things should be fine. And the second thing... Is that... I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe being chilled will spur him on to do something. Either way, it is sundown, so I will go to sleep. Um, I also need to make a few more torches. Yeah, I've only got one stick, but that should be more than enough to uh, get us by. And there is five. Woohoo! Okay, you are... You're an, an, an enigma. An actual honest-to-god enigma, but I mean, fine. We, we stand a real one, I guess. I'm actually... Ooh. There we go. See, I knew we were missing something in that furnace. But, building off that... Aha! Okay, and there, that's what we do with the remainder of all those potatoes. It's the efficient use of our time, I see. Either way, I guarantee I'm going to get up here while I'm asleep. But, ooh, that sunset through the trees. Mwah, that, that is tasty. Ooh! Either way, I'm not sure why I'm your... Oh! Let me sleep immediately. I will not complain then. <laughs> Alright, well, let's do this then. So, we've got another kidnapping to engage in, but... um. I'm going to very quickly give you guys the uh, the clip notes version if you weren't here last time because, oh, yeah, no, that guy almost got me killed. Got himself killed multiple times, and the original guy we tried to escort also got killed. So it's very dangerous of a trip because it pretty much takes more than 10 minutes there and back, which, uh, well, I mean, if we take our time turning up, I suppose we can kind of sleep in the village and then take 10 minutes coming back. But generally, it's just a bit of a hassle to um to not die. Right, that's like the, the, the big the big issue. And also, um, we've got to escort them by boat, and the boat can only get them so far. So we've got a really, and I truly mean this, a really scuffed canal about like here-ish, um, which we haven't even fully dug out. Literally, it's just used to push them through until they're on the other side, and we can like write a note that's like, okay, yeah, no, they're, they're done, they're free, they're safe. It's like, you know, we may as well show it off. Where, where was it? It was like this part of the coast here, if I understand correctly. I, th I think. If I wasn't somewhere here, even if I can't find it immediately. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll run into the area where I was always pushing them into the hole. Uh, yeah, no, it, it was around here, but none of this terrain looks particularly familiar, so uh, maybe that's a cause for concern? I don't know. You know, here's the lake. I remember making a compliment. Well, not a compliment, but like a, a kind of side thing at that where I was like, Ah yes, of course, there's a lake that doesn't connect to the river. It's a dig for like 10 more minutes using it. It wasn't 10, was it? It was a fair few minutes while I was dealing with a stone pick. Which I was, uh, I don't think I was all too appreciative of, if I'm being honest. And, oh, Okay, you know, that lag. Um, luckily, baked potatoes come in handy. But, uh, yeah. Also, if you're wondering why we're lagging so much more, um, it's because I changed the cable for my hard drive today. And it's still kind of trying to update. Um, I had one of the older ones, which can't go up to 6 gigabits. But now, my new one does. So I think it's like trying to sort of recalibrate in a way. I I honestly don't know beyond that, but you know, I think that's what it is. So um, I'm just going to class it as that and move on. Either way, yeah, it is a little bit of a walk, but like I said, we should be able to throw these guys in. We didn't actually show the walk here last time, mind you, because um, if you watched the beginning of last episode, you know that we lost. Um, <laughs> yeah, that we lost the entire clip of me walking here. So it's, it's me making up for lost time, um, which I didn't have a mic on because I think I'd um, accidentally unplugged it. <laughs> uh, something like that. Either way, here we are. Okay, I've got my bearings now. We're in the little tiger area, and I'm pretty sure, g given how quick you can go through one part of this trip, if you, if, you, if you were here last time, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. We're pretty much like halfway there. It's like, it's a far away village, but it's not as far away as it could have been. And oh, okay, we're taking a slightly different detour here, but mmm, forest fire, my uh, my fave. Yeah, ooh. Okay, that's actually more trees than I was expecting it to be. Um, oof. Um, oh, no, okay, that isn't the thing I saw last time. I was going to swear it was, but no. No, no, no. See, the difficult thing now will be remembering the way back, given I've approached this at such a weird angle. Like, hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Again, that, that village I found, I, I think I actually said um, on the uh, the on-camera portion. But yeah, no, I found that by complete like coincidence. I'm um, like... I can't, I can't remember exactly what I was saying, because obviously there's not even a mic track to go by. But I said, I said something to the extent of, like, you know, this is the biomes they can spawn in. That mega tiger over there I wasn't too appreciating, because it's one of the few tiger types that they don't spawn in. And I was like, eh, eh, you know, kind of annoyed. And then I was like, okay, planes. And then we kept on going, and I saw ice spikes. And I, could, I had a drop in my stomach where it was like, 
And then it was like, oh, a nice bit of sweet bit of a uh, snow plains, which is um in the one of the biomes that villagers can spawn in now. And it was like, uh, okay, okay, we've been saved, we've been saved. Anyway, we're back on uh, the part at least I can recall. I think if I stand corrected, you know, I think we've just passed the area where we did almost die. Yeah, we almost died way too many times last episode. There was the um, there was obviously the original thing with um him in the tunnel and general shenanigans getting him in as it went to night time. But the second time, we were, like, taking this villager under the cover of darkness. And, um, we were hit by a harpoon. And, uh, yeah, needless to say, um, I brought it back. Because, um, in case you don't know, in the original uh, Minecraft Hardcore, and there's a song called Life Will Change that I nicked from Persona 5. Particularly the instrumental version. And it was kind of a rule in the original series that whenever I come really close to dying, I will play the instrumental version of Life Will Change. And then... That's kind of like a cool thing. When I eventually did die, with a totem of undying or for good in this series, that instrumental version would be playing, and then it would slowly transition into the version with lyrics. Because obviously, life did change as we were dead. So, uh, yeah. And is this the end of the world? Up. Uh, Up. Uh, okay. I don't think my computer appreciated that. I don't think my hard drive appreciated that. Uh, 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 God. Right. I can just are you are you okay um how do we fix that because that's kind of my path forward um um right just to check just to check just to check you drop box you drop it's just there doesn't exist anymore um what do we do I'll take a screenshot because this is honestly a very cool visual but um okay well, maybe we backtracked maybe we made a wrong turn somewhere I somehow doubt that but you know Never say never, we're back in the regular water now. It was ice the entire way over, I remember that much. Also, wow, those ice spikes go down far. Not sure I was expecting, but still. Uh, maybe my... Oh, I don't. I think my game doesn't actually know that I'm here. Well, I mean, it hasn't like had the chance to properly update, perhaps? Um, let's see, anything this way? Oh, we're going to get lost again, I can, fe I can feel it. Oh, the polar bear's here, the, the polar bear of guidance, as it were. Um, no, he wasn't... No, it wasn't this thing, it was... It was that turning up ahead, but maybe if we reapproach those chunks and, like, do something that would, you know, usually cause them to start spawning in, maybe that'll fix something? Um, hopeful thinking, actually, because um, if part of my world is vanishing, that doesn't bode very well for said hard drive swap. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sure that was definitely not foreboding in any way, shape, or form, or something that could be turned into a war element later on. Yeah, I mean, it's like... I mean, I've played with it, but like I said, the only, the only times we really play the war is um when the episodes where I know I'm going to die, or, uh, or when I want to finish the series, so um, it's like, hmm. what do you know, though, guys? Because um, in case you don't know, original Microsoft Hardcore ended on a tiny bit of manufactured war, and definitely legitimate with a farm, uh, with the school hunting off camera, and kind of like played out with a big event where I couldn't live without abandoning it. It was a cool thing. I still stand by those as being like two of my favourite videos I've ever made. Abrupt, but really goddamn cool. Um, but okay. Also, do you have a lectern I can steal in one of your houses? Because if so, I will really appreciate it. I sound like a YouTuber trying to manipulate his fans into buying merch. Um, oh, okay. I'll map some beetroot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, sure. It's like, look, it's like I sound like a bad person. It does something bad people would do. Oh, it's like, okay, can you get in there, please? Thank you. No, you. Look, I get, I get, I, I get you were speaking to each other and everything. No, 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 no. No. I, do not approach me, I, I, I of Golem. Yes, no, no, this is the point where you get in my boat. Please get in my boat, I, I would appreciate it. Um, please, pretty please, get in my boat. No, no, get, no. See, this is why I lose so many torches. Get in the boat. No, get in the fucking boat. You. No, okay, fine, fine. I should ride my boat over there, and then we'll see who gets in. Please! Please, it's almost night time. And I'd really rather not have to deal with... Oh, yeah, no, I forgot I forgot snow counts as the tile going up one. I, please, just get in the... Okay, you, in the boat. Yes, yes, okay. The heist. The heist. Okay, okay, um, it's fine. We're on this, we're on this. We shall... No, no, we well, shall not progress. Right, can you stay there a second while I reconfigure my boat? Nope. Stay there. Please, come over here. Nope, I, I need you here. What are you doing? No. Get out the house. Get out the house. I need to kidnap you. No, you, you. Okay, you know, you, you're you not interested. Can I, can I bait you over? 
please, please, come over. Yes, come over. Yes, come over into my yes. Ah! Why are you all car out of there? No. Ding. Run away, I guess. Oh, okay, now this is beneficial. Ha ha ha. Um, oh, you know, you're all running into them. That's what that does. It doesn't make them run to the belt. It makes them run and hide in their buildings. I mean, you're safe now. Uh, can you? Okay, well, yeah, I get, I get, I get you're afraid, but like, man, I need to, I need to steal. Why is this so hard the third time? You'd think I'd have experience. Yes, run. This building isn't safe. You're not angry. Okay. Um, how do I, how do I heist these people? Please. You are, you are kidding me. You are kidding me. Out of my inventory torches, you demon spawn of an item. Okay, it's, I swear there was someone in there. Why are we all in here? Why are we all in here? Get out. Get out. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The heist. The heist. Oh, God. It's turning to night time. Mmm. Mmm. Do I make it interesting or not make it interesting? I've kind of already done this once random character cat I would tame if I had the correct things on hand. Mmm. Do I do it? Do I have it in me to try and do something super swag a second time and almost get myself killed again for it? Damn it, I kind of think I do. And is that a pig in the distance? Um, no, those flowers. Either way, me and you, me and the, me, me and the villager here, all we're going to do, like, you're, you're in good care. As long as you don't misbehave and you're all just fine, you will live. Um, you will not live if we are interrupted or you act funny. Just on the same page. So, ooh, the purple reflection on that. Ooh. Damn, these shaders are good. So I'm going to pull these out because, uh... Yeah, speaking on shaders, I think we may need a little bit of white in a few minutes. If not a minute. Okay, so slow down. It's fine. It's, it's a nature's breaks uh, getting thrown on there. Then we go around this way. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, here it begins. Here it begins. So this part's fine. This part is, dare I say, safe. Like, nothing can really spawn on here that kills. I think ice is one of those blocks where mobs are just like, yeah, no thanks. Um, once we're in water, though, different story, and the moment we start seeing guys on the shore is when we kind of go into danger. So, launch ourselves in, and just like last time, kind of have a little push-off entry. Very cool, very nice. Now, um, from this moment onwards, I think Drowned can start spawning, which is alarming, yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna judge how alarming things are based on when we start seeing some real action mob-wise. So there's a witch, so... The night has now officially begun, you could dare to say. Okay, now here is where it was last time. This, this is this is the incident. This little canal area here almost killed us. So, let's try not have a repeat of that. Okay, there's a skeleton there. Which is, again, we're going to be very, very careful about this. Okay, there is a drowned. See, it's not, not inherently drowned will kill us. It's more so drowned with a harpoon will kill us. And if we're in a bad area, that will be the finishing blow. Because anyway, they destroy our boat with that, and it's like, oh, that's where things get a bit turbulent. Either way, so far so good. Again, I love the vibe of this. I love how ominous this is. There was a, a video just like this in the original series, actually, where we were just going home, and it was dead freaky because it was nighttime the entire time we were going over the ocean. Just before we fought the Ender Dragon as well. And it's like, yeah, in hindsight, boring video for most people, but I don't know. I think something about that video had a bit of a spark, which I quite like. I, I, I feel like appreciate it in that aspect. Either way, this is, yeah, this is dead end, so we got to turn here. So let's see how much I remember the, of this. Oh, completely uninterrupted and in the dark, and with the prospects of being killed at any moment. It's like, yeah, okay, and the men are spawning in. Definitely, uh, definitely feel the security level starting to increase, I've got to say. Again, we're in shallow waters now, so I'm praying that Drowned don't decide to show up and uh, crash our party. And yeah, if we can just get this guy back home, things will be good. Okay, then what is that? That is just a weird reflection of a birch tree. Okay, 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 keep pushing on. There's a point at which everything becomes safe. This is not that point. Um, oh god, did I remove the cobblestone from the tunnel? Mm-hmm, okay, we may have accidentally got ourselves killed. Oh, again, yeah, there was a tunnel, obviously it wasn't finished to push, okay, actually, very quickly, very quickly. Okay, damn it, I can't pick that up. Okay, we gotta nab some water at the moment, we're out of here, leave this guy in and hope he doesn't get mauled to death, and then redo the beginning of the... No. No, no, no. You did not. Not here. No, 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 no. And of course, the skeleton spawned in as well. I was like, oh, the ranged attack brigade. I see that you're all um, all doing alive and well. 
please die. Okay, and, 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 and. This is it, innit? Yep. This was where it was. And luckily for us, like, I'm aware of how many skeletons there may be, but there's also an astutely low amount of zombies. I also have no shield, so I will just have to tank hits from these guys, but it's fine. Okay, now how the, how in the hell did I get him over there originally? And why is there a zombie in the bleeding tunnel? The one place you guys are not welcome. Well, actually, you're not welcome at all right now, but you know, yeah, it's, the, it's kind of the cool one-liner that counts. Okay, anyway, right, bup, 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 bup. And, oh god, okay, right, so I was right. That was blocked off, and we need to obviously make efforts to remedy that. Do that. And, oh, come on. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, this is turning into a wave defense style thing now. Okay, okay. Still, it's a glimpse of what it could have been if we weren't so rudely uprooted last time. Okay, right, I'm gonna remove those bones. Because I can in hold. Oh, damn it! No, no, no. Get on the shore, get on the shore, get on the shore. Get on the shore, get on the shore, get on the shore, get on the shore. Get in. We're going. We're going. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. You're not welcome. Neither are you. Why does everything want to kill this damn villager? Holy. Okay, okay, okay. Keep moving before you can recalibrate and stop firing at us again. Just get in the tunnel. We see we're off. And from then on, we're safe. Or not. Okay, of course. Of course, it's never that easy, truly, is it? Either way, he's already taken one hit from a harpoon, so I don't want to bank on how much more he has. Just keep going. Keep... You fucking... Actual... No. No, 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 no. Die. First of all, should have been targeting me. Second of all, I'm not happy about that. Third of all, what the hell is going on down there? Oh, uh, like, hell. It does go down pretty far, actually. Hmm. Well, um, we're kind of, like, stuck here now. I don't think we have a brewing stand or a golden apple on hand that could exactly, you know, go about reviving that guy. And, uh, well, kind of don't want to stay here. I mean, like I did say I'd kill you if things went wrong. And it's like, I mean, you behaved as well. You behaved, it was just the twat that showed up at the last minute. Like, I'm just felt us unsure. Just, you know, it's like, kind of beyond my control. Like, I mean, yes, yes, I get it. And I know it's irritating for the both of us. Like, what, do you want a, do you want a grave or something? I'll give you a grave. I mean, it'll be this big, but, like, you know, you can chill here. You won't die. Um, will you kill me if I get in here? Oh, you will. Oh, you'll kill me if I get too close to my own boat as well. You know, we used to be so close, but you wouldn't kill me. It's like, also, your bottom part of your body doesn't exist. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, okay, fine. I get it, I get it, I get it. Graves aren't your thing. Appreciated. Um, but also, I kind of need my boat back, so, uh... Okay, yes, 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 come with me. Follow me inside, outside, through the stratosphere. Just get in there, get in there, get in the hole, get in the hole. There we are. You can chill there. Think about what you've done. And I might just come back for you if I ever have the stuff. Is that... Yeah, okay, nod, nod. Right, sick. Um, well, the sun's coming up, so I kind of have to leave. Yes, yes, okay, you, you understand. I think the leaves will keep you safe. If not, um, you know, like a fence gate or something? Like, oh, a fence gate keeps you safe. There you go. There you go. You've got a thing to whack your head on. I mean, you're undead, so it shouldn't change much. Um, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna just kind of not deal with that. Like, yeah, I'm just, look, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's like, maybe dead, but you're not dead, dead. I'm just gonna, just gonna leave before I say more stuff that I probably shouldn't. Um, and yeah, um, Delivery a success. I'm just gonna grab the next one off camera. I'm being honest because I don't think I have it in me <laughs> to um, go through that heartbreak on camera again. But if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps a bunch. It lets me know when some more of this and all of that good stuff. Very annoyed about that last part because we had gone through the entire thing only for me to forget that he could have come on land. Really annoying, but like something that was ultimately caused by me just having a bit too much of an oversight. But I think that's everything. So, with all said and all aside, yeah. Until next time, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Ben Rabbit and Peace. Out.